Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up the second week in March, first full week in March, the 6th through the 12th, in my Skinny Classic Planner. This is the planner I use as my work log, and I now keep my manicures in here. So for example, I can see this was a manicure, so everything I filmed after that, I know what my nail polish was. It just works out better for me to keep track of it in here. Um, and I'm using the heck out of this planner. I really, really love it. Um, it's coming in so handy to me. So let's get started. I just throw a whole lot of boxes on there because um, I just jot stuff down, which is the fun thing. Like if, it, if this is your on the go planner, you may find the same thing. Bullet points in boxes just to jot stuff down willy nilly um, is the fun way to go for me at least. So the theme I'm going with, the first day of spring isn't until the 20th, um, but the option here for spring fever is kind of like, um, spring isn't here yet but i'm just dying for it to be spring i'm you know so i feel like that's okay to go ahead and go spring fever and when i think about the first like florals and things you see when it comes to springtime i always think daffodils i feel like when you start to see daffodils you know it either is spring or spring's right around the corner so this is an old this page has been in my stash for well over a decade this goes back to my scrapbooking days it's from Stickopotamus, which I believe you can still get, find Stickopotamus stickers um, in different places. But I just, I love these. It gives me a, it defines my color scheme right off the bat, green and yellow. So we're gonna go with these. The other thing I have is a few weeks ago, I introduced you to a new sticker shop that I found, the Pretty Pink Co. And I will link them in the description box. But I, I love, for some reason, um, I love like the picket fences and these picket fences have like little flowers and butterflies and stuff so we're going to use this. They're long strip stickers. I think I have enough to go, I think I want to go all the way across the bottom with them. And then I also have these branches with birds which I, I've mentioned in some of my videos before. I'm kind of obsessed with the birds in our backyard so I thought these could go maybe someplace across the top. And then we'll go down um, throughout the boxes with these. Um, I pulled the new Spring Collections Volume 2 from Amber Plans Her Day, which don't get me wrong, I was very tempted by a lot of the florals in here, but um, I, I have more spring spreads coming up, so I'll be able to use those. I love winter. I am always sad to see winter go, um, but it's not to say I don't like spring. Um, I'm just, I'm sad, to, I'm sad to bid adieu to winter. So I like this one. Spring, a lovely reminder how beautiful change can be. I want that to be my quote down here. Since I just jot stuff down, I use this as my space to put um, some kind of quote usually. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna white out notes. Um, and then of course I pulled the Mojo Jojo plans, um, green boxes and more and yellow boxes and more to pair with the florals. So let's start by putting um, picket fence. I wanna put picket fence all the way across the bottom. And I think I'm gonna use a lot of these stickers. Just going, I'm just gonna go edge to edge all the way across the bottom. I like adding a little touch of, of foil to my spreads uh, even though as a content creator it's a little bit difficult to film you know what it's just it's pretty and I want it so I'm going to use it and you know not stress too much about the perfect photo because that takes the joy out of it not pulling these super tight just like washi tape since these are kind of plasticky stickers, um, the clear matte sticker paper, if you pull it super tight, you can get it to stretch a little, and then when it contracts, it'll cause your page to curl, just like pulling washi tape too tight. Yeah, you can't really tell. That, that um, seam is not super noticeable. So let's see about these. I love this great big branch. I think I want that to come right out of this corner. Or do I want that to help cover up? I might want it there. Um, 
Okay, let's hold off on that. Let's put our quote on here. So I can put the quote over here. I think I want the quote in the middle. Ish. So I'm just, it's got this little divot here for the Y on truly, and this is kind of uneven. So if I can match those up, then I won't have filmy plastic sticker dulling down the foil. If you know what I mean, there we go. All right, so we can put, we put a daffodil on one side. That'll work, that'll cover that up. This one. Yeah, let's put this daffodil, or maybe this one with the straight. I'm trying not to hit the punch, and I'm trying not to cover up the um, quote. I think this one will work the best. These have been in my stash, like I said, forever, so they're a little reluctant to come off the page very well. Perfect masked that white out perfectly okay I might want to try to use all of these today um, these could go on some of these loose empty tops you know so if I put like this one on there I could put another one of these on the top one, two, three, four, five, six more. So maybe I don't want a second one here. I could just put a couple of these loose on the other side, maybe. I'm not, I, I'm just, I'm struggling a little bit with what to do with the stems. One thing I could do, we could do a little sticker surgery and cut one of these triples off. Let's actually, let's see how that looks. So I'm just going to cut like that to give myself another stem to attach one of these, and I can even turn it this way, so that the cut edge is up at the top, and that way I can cover it up with one of those loose tops. Oh my gosh, these have been in my stash for a while. That works. I mean, you can kind of see the green under it, but I don't care. Okay, so now that that's figured out, I can go ahead and put... Oh, it's on the back of my hand. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> let's go ahead and put these up here. And let's do another one coming out from March. And then same thing over here. And let's pick a nice long one to come out from 2023. Kind of feeling like this one could go in the middle. Yes, cute. Okay, so I might be able to fit these in here as well. All right, so. First, so next, I don't, little. <laughs> I'm excited about how this is coming out, can you tell? <laughs> All right, let's see what greens and yellows will go with these stickers. So, I think the darkest green. I really have been wanting to put my stickers crooked, and I keep forgetting to start like that, so maybe we should start crooked. It looks like I could use maybe the two darker greens, both of them. And then for yellows, actually that one goes with the center of the florals. That one goes, they all three go. So all three yellows will go. So since I've got three yellows and two greens, let's start with a yellow. Start with this lightest one. Uh, I said I would start with yellow, but you know what? Since I've got the big head of the yellow flower right there, let's put, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's do green and I want a floral in between. Can I get a floral in between? 
Yes. Let's put this guy stuck to my thumb and wouldn't come off. Okay, I think I want one slightly smaller. But let's get this off of there first. I'm not sure how these got stickier <laughs> over the years, but they did. I want that to hit right up close to Sunday. There we go. I'm kind of toying with, do I want to put a second one on there? I think I do, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to use them up. Although, yeah, I want to try to use them up. So let's go ahead and put a second one on there on this pointy bit. Or I could put it down here. Let's put it down here. Since my green is kind of showing through a little bit through that flower, it might be hard to see on camera. I can put a second layer of light sticker on there to help cover that up. There. All right, so here then I want to put another one, another box not quite as tall. The lightest color, one size smaller. Here we go, this one. Super cute. Do we want some birds there? Let's do birds. In this space up here. There. Okay. I think I wanna put these birds coming out of here and that gives me a nice bit of foil throughout the page and then these can come over here. All right, so what if we do a longer box or maybe I do a tall, ooh, let's do a tall box. Let's do one of these. Fit it right in between the birds. Yeah, yeah. Crooked, awesome. Okay, and so that tells me that I need something floral here in this space because I certainly don't need more box. Just trying to fit this down below Sunday or I could do kind of like this with another flower head there. Let's do that. Oh my gosh, so sticky and delicate at the same time. It looks like they're talking to each other. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. This is definitely saying spring fever to me. I don't know about you all, but all right. I think I'm ready for kind of a, a wonky stack of little boxes. So let's start with a green at the bottom, a couple yellows, a couple greens at the bottom, I think, and then a couple more yellows. Since I've got this shade of green big here, let's just do two of these. And then we'll mix in all the different yellows. Okay, so I think first I need to figure out what floral is going here. And then we'll work around it. Yeah, let's put one of these right here at the very, very edge. Oh my gosh, these are so hard to get off the page in one piece and then off my finger. <laughs> At least I seem to be getting them placed pretty much where I want them. I think I'm not going to be able to fit one more box on here, so I think I want this box to be one size bigger. Let's tuck the border of this box under this floral though, if I can peel it up. I just got done saying how sticky they are. There. Okay. One side done. I love that. That is so pretty. That says definitely that says daffodil to me. All right. I have three bits of bird left. I think I want to go small, big, small. So since the big is coming from that way, I think I need it to come like from here. 
That guy's coming from the same side. These are all coming from the same side actually. So I think they're going to have to come out from the stack of boxes. Um, I want one here. So what if we do another vertical box here? Um, let's do, since I've got green, let's do a yellow. And let's do this really, really dark because I don't have very much really dark yet. That's sticking way, way up. That's okay. That's okay. I can live with that. Where did my, here's my bird. Let's put my bird right here, coming out of the side of the box. That fits under there nicely. Can they be that crooked? I guess they can. Let's see. One, two, three. I definitely need to trim one of these off so I have a fourth. And maybe I can make it a double like I did that one and I'll put it up there. So maybe I need to make this shorter. Maybe that'll help me with my space issues. Oh, oh, well, there you go. That fits okay. All right, so now we need something. We need a box here. Let's do a big, this color green, big square. And then we can bring our, our flower out this way. Yes. Fill in this space with this guy. Three-fourths of this video is going to be me trying to get these stickers off the page in one piece. <laughs> well, it's stuck now. <laughs> I was going to try to peel it up, but it's definitely stuck now. Um, I want to put this one... Maybe I'll bring it right over here to the edge and fill the rest of the space with boxes. Yes. And then I can bring that little last bit of bird foil out from one of the boxes. Let's do light yellow up under here. I have this one that I peeled up earlier that I'm afraid isn't going to stay stuck very well, so let's use it. And I think I need light green here. Let's do one bigger, like this size. There, and I kind of feel like I want another green one or another yellow. Let's do another shade of yellow, like maybe roughly this size or maybe the smallest one here. This more buttercup yellow. There, okay, and then my bird. I gotta get my bird on here somewhere. Sticker sheet used. It's easy when they're teeny tiny like that. And you know what? I think I'm just going to kind of stick it here in the center. It's okay. All right, then last but not least, we need to put this daffodil here with a flower, floral coming out on either side. Let's get those on there and then we'll figure out the box next to it. So just like down here, I'm going to put two heads on it, double layered, and that will use up another sheet of stickers. Yay! Was, who would have thought? That one's a twin. There we go. Okay. Um, I wonder, could I fit two greens across here? So unfortunately, I missed it and my recording maxed out, but here we go. Here's the final spread. I don't really normally think green is my favorite color, but I don't normally th think to pair yellow with it. Um, and I'm really glad I did because this is a spread unlike one I've done before. I love those little winking bits of foil all over the page as well. They're so, so pretty. So, but there we go. There is my spring fever spread in my 
um, skinny classic planner, my work log planner. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to try fun out of the box um, color and foil and sticker combinations. They really can be fun. I just, I love um, reading the different challenges and just letting my imagination run wild. And when I, an idea hits, then I, it's just, it's so exciting and I can't wait to go ahead and film it. So if you like this video, please consider liking, subscribing, dropping me a smiley face or a word or two. All of those interactions with my videos really do help me with the YouTube algorithm and are a great easy way to support me and help me grow. Thank you.